That is where Sean Boy joins us from now. She's on top of a high rise next to the park with Mobile Four tonight. And Sean, you can't just show up tomorrow and see the president. Karen, while it's in a public park, you do have to have a ticket to get into the event. The permit is for up to 500 people, but noticeably absent will be three Colorado Democrats in tight election battles, including Senator Mark Udall. The president's approval ratings are tied for a record low, and there are questions about whether Udall simply doesn't want to be seen with the president. His campaign dismissed speculation, saying it's simply scheduling. The, the event was only set yesterday. It's not as though Senator Udall and President Obama haven't spent time together. Here's them golfing last year. But it's no secret either. Udall has at times tried to distance himself from Obama. Here's an interview on CNN in January. Udall's asked if the president will campaign for him. That was not a yes or no. Yes or no? We'll see what the president's schedule is. We'll see what my schedule is. But Wow. One more chance. You're not going to say yes or no, are you? We'll see what the schedule allows. Six months later, Obama is campaigning for Udall, but Udall won't be here for part of his visit. His campaign says the fact he isn't attending the president's speech in Denver Wednesday is an intentional but logistical. I don't buy it. Republican analyst Dick Wadham says he also doesn't get it. Senator Udall has been a loyal supporter and foot soldier for Obama and his policies. He cannot escape it. So why did they, why has he guaranteed three or four days of bad press by hiding from the president of the United States? It's not just Udall who won't be at the event. Governor Hickenlooper's spokesman says he also has a conflict. And Democratic congressional candidate Andrew Romanoff's campaign says he wasn't invited. The reality is no one's ducking the president. Democratic like analyst Andrew Penn Romanoff. Field Tate says Republicans were going to criticize Udall if he was on the stage with Obama or not. He says the president is always more of an asset than a liability. And even at his low point, George W. Bush was still a draw for Republican candidates who wanted to be able to say the President of the United States is coming here to help campaign. Senator Udall's campaign says his plane will be landing at DIA just as the president begins his speech here at Cheeseman tomorrow morning about 1030. Governor Hickenlooper will be at a veterans event in Colorado Springs. The president's address will focus on the economy and cover topics including minimum wage and college tuition. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd, CBS 4 News. Thank you.